Though these trees may not look like much, Florida farmer Mark Dalton thinks they might be the country's next hot biofuel crop. It's called Jatropha. There's a number of very special things about Jatropha curcus. Um, this tree has enabled itself to grow in a very marginal soil. It uh, needs very little water. It, it, uh, it's not a food source. Um, and this tree will survive 50 years. So if you plant this tree in the ground and get it to maturity, uh, this tree will produce 800 to 1200 gallons of, of a biofuel per year for 50 years. You don't have to replant it. Uh, you don't have to um, harvest the whole tree. All you have to do is take the pods off the tree, take the seeds out of the pod, crush the seeds and produce biofuel. Um, it can go six months without a drop of water and survive. Um, this tree is just incredibly hardy. Uh, and not being a food source, you're not taken away from corn or soybean or other products that are used to feed this world's population. Uh, at this point in time, what's happening with, um, with Jatropha, um, particularly here in Florida, is that um, we're doing research to, to es establish the best management pr practices, you know, the practices and, uh, and the cultural practices under which you can uh, grow this crop optimally. The constraining factor, though, is that we're still working with a wild plant. We're still working with an undomesticated crop. Even then, when you compare this undomesticated wild crop with the other sources of biodiesel in this country, the main one being soy, you're looking at even at, at its very lowest uh, projections, Jatropha giving you 200, 300 gallons of oil per acre and soy giving you less than 100 gallons per acre. And you have to actually put it back in every year. It's, a, it's, not, a, it's not a perennial like Jatropha, which grows and grows and for 50 years. We can grow it very well in South Florida, in parts of South Florida, even up to Central Florida. In fact, anywhere uh, citrus grow, it, it, will, it will grow. But our farmers are suffering. If anybody need a bailout, certainly the farmers in Florida do need one. There are still many unknowns about Jatropha, like what kinds of temperatures the plant which is native to Central America, can withstand. Here is a, uh, a crop that shows enormous potential, even as an undomesticated crop. Um, I think certainly those, those two things put together should give somebody the insight that this needs further attention.